Hey guys, check out this 1982 Suzuki GS450T. I'm pleased to be offering this for sale on behalf of a friend of mine, George Fetko, uh, who has sold bikes with us in the past. George is a former competitive cyclist and also a cancer survivor. I'm gonna link a cool video of George in the description of the video. George is retired now. In that time, he's chosen to source and refresh classic motorcycles, and his specialty is bikes with low mileage. And this bike still has the original tires on them, and they look brand new. The provenance is in order. We have the original title on the bike, which I'll show you in a moment, and bill of sale from the, the single and uh, original owner on the bike. Right now, it's showing 722 factory miles, and the bike is 100% bone stock with the exception of some of the seals on the carburetors. George has receipts for the parts that have been replaced. He used only OEM Suzuki components. I believe the Petcock has been replaced. Some carburetor uh, hoses, O-rings, uh, OEM jets, and new old stock air cleaners. So George sourced this bike from the original owner, um, which is completely documented with the original title and he had rebuilt the carburetors with OEM components and that's been documented here. Um, receipts from Partzilla, uh, all stuff that was in stock, a couple hundred dollars there, along with the carburetor rebuild kits. The bike got new spark plugs, just a beautiful bike. It's exactly what you would expect a 700 mile uh, Suzuki GS uh, to look like the fit and finish it. It's like going back to 1982 um, and you'd be hard pressed to find a comparable example. I think it's stone cold, guys. It's got the original tires on it. They're starting to crack in some spots, but they honestly, they, they look pretty good. I'd ride on these. feels good guys the forks aren't all bagged out like you see a lot the fork seals aren't weeping at all even the rear shocks they're they're oil damped but uh they feel good they don't feel blown out brakes are on point stops on a dime no squealing of course it's the chain drive model so it's got a nice direct feel this thing's tight Red line somewhere in the 11, 12,000 range. Definitely a ripper. I bet you this thing's, <laughs> I bet you that right there was the highest has ever been revved. This thing's an absolute cream puff. I can't see any major imperfections that I that I could point out. I see a little bit of, bit of patina on the mirror here, um, which is original. Um, maybe a little bit of paint missing on the master cylinder here. But guys, I mean, all throughout the chrome is impeccable. There's no rust anywhere. Um, the original paint on the frame is cherry even underneath the side cover. Um, this is the original seat cover, which, I mean, maybe faded a little bit. It shows its age, but this is, it's just absolutely gorgeous, guys. And I'm going to get a lot of up-close photos if you're interested in it. 
click the link in the description here check out the ebay gallery um and then of course watch all the way through the video and and look at the shots of this bike it's impeccable and uh shows in person as beautiful as it does in the photos good luck bidding on this one message your zip code for a quote thanks for watching guys like subscribe comment uh thanks for tuning in this far in the video we appreciate you guys good luck bidding on this one and god bless america